Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on Evercrown Legacy. In this video I'm going to be showing um, how you can uh, control your ship using uh, voice commands. And to do that I've uh, downloaded um, a piece of software called GavP. Um, now it's an open source um, free program that you can use. There's also another one called Voice Attack which is about 8 euro or, some, or 7 euro or something like that or dollars, 8 dollars, I'm not sure. Um, but I figured I'd give the, um, the free um, version a go first to see how it worked. And uh, I have to say it works pretty good. Um, so I'm going to show it in action here um, for the first half of this video. And then in the second half of the video I'll show you how you go about setting it up. Um, so I'll show you how it works. So I've set it up to basically work on... Um, you hold down the key, push the talk, and I've set it to the left control button. So I can hold down the button and say half speed. Half speed. And that will I'll just put the um IDS back on. That will set the um the speed to uh half speed basically. Uh, if you want to go full speed then you just go full Main speed. Oops. You gotta be careful you don't talk um generally when you're actually issuing commands. Uh, when you're commentating on a video doing it, it's kind of awkward, so i got to make sure I don't do that when I'm holding down control, so here we go. Full speed. Full speed. All stop. Main thrusters disengaged. Okay, so that's um, the speed settings pretty much. I just have it, um, you don't get the fine con uh, speed controls that you get using the keyboard, but you have a quick way of just setting um, some general speed settings. I've got it set to... Uh, Lock target. Targeting. Lock target. Targeting. Target hostile. Targeting. There's no hostiles. Um, if there was a hostile in the area and I said target hostile, it would it would um, target the nearest hostile. And I have a lock target set up so that whatever you're facing and looking at, if you go lock target. Targeting. It will lock whatever you're looking at. So it, it's kind of um, a quick way of. Um, Targeting stuff that you that you don't have to worry about what keys to press. Um, so you could look over here. This guy, I don't know if he's out of range. Let's give it a go. Lock target. Targeting. Yeah, he's out of range actually. So I'll pick this guy up. Um, I've got um, uh, countermeasures set up. So um, if you're in the heat of battle, you can just go f fire countermeasures. Firing countermeasures. Fire countermeasures. Fire countermeasures. Fire countermeasures. So that's kind of useful to have if you're trying to um, um, evade missiles in the heat of battle. Um, I've got the power to shields. So you can go power to Targeting. shields. Shield power allocated. Power to weapons. Power weapons. Weapon power allocated. So you can quickly shift between full weapon power and um, full shield power. And to set it back to normal, I, I still have it on the keyboard. You can adjust it manually. Um, but they're kind of heat at the moment um, commands that you can quickly, if you're in, in a uh, dogfight, you can quickly say those commands. Um, yeah, you really have to make sure you kind of. Um, you don't uh, mutter or, or you have to really you know make sure you consciously press the key and talk clearly when you're doing it so that picks it up correctly um okay so i've uh, i've got a contract here at the moment um to deliver some fuel to this guy so we're going to do this contract um using the commands if we can uh, and so the waypoint is plotted in automatically for the contract and i can just say if i want to jump the ship i can just go jump now Powering engines. Actually, I just jumped to the wrong way point, I think. Waypoint is over here. Okay, I've also got autopilot set up so you can go um, activate autopilot. Autopilot activated. Deactivate autopilot. Autopilot deactivated. Open comms. Transmitting request. 
it'll be within months thousand to actually communicate with a ship. I don't think you will, but we're gonna give it a go. Open comms. Open comms. No, he doesn't want to talk. Okay, so jump now. Jump now. Jump now. Powering engines. <coughs> So, you can see, um, we just delivered a fuel to this guy, if I can find him now. I kind of messed up my, um, yeah, I don't know, he still he seems to be gone. Okay, well, they're pretty much the commands um, that I have set up, and it's pretty good. It has a lot of fun into it. Um, if you're not doing what I'm doing, commentating here on a video, and you're just playing the game, and you're using that... Uh, those voice commands, it should pick them up a lot easier and, you know, um, without any errors, or without um, too many errors anyway, there's, I, there's a way you can kind of um, reduce the chance of those errors as well, which I'll show uh, now in the second part of the video when I show the piece of software in action. So, um, uh, let's do that now. Okay, so this is the um, GavP uh, interface. I had a piece of uh, software that you run for the voice commands and we're going to have a look at uh, how it works so um, it's straightforward enough um, you've got a file menu to open a profile and to exit a program uh, if you close the program up here it'll just minimize to the taskbar so you need to actually uh, choose exit um, over here you've got two buttons as well actually listen and stop and once you click listen the program will listen for your commands and it will um, act on them <clears throat> so if you wanted to stop doing that you just press the stop button uh, so it might be a good idea just to press stop before you exit uh, just to make sure it you know closes down properly um, what else have we got you've got um, your profile new and modify so um, if you don't have a profile set up already you can create a new one and if you have if you've opened a profile which I have here um I've got a profile here for Evacron. It comes with one for Star Citizen. Um but I created one here myself and you just click open on that. Once you do that then you click on modify to actually modify the sentence. Or if you're happy with the way it is already, you can just straightforward just click listen and to um get it going. Uh, with the game. Okay, so what else have we got? We got settings. If you click on settings, we have um, some general settings here, the speech synthesizer. Uh, you can add um, other speech synthesizers if you want. Uh, this is just using the default Windows 7 one. Um, I think you got to uh, purchase uh, voices and things like that to do that though. Um, if you don't want it to um, or sorry, if you want as well, you can actually, uh, instead of having the program use the speech sensors when talking, you can actually um, use recorded voice files as well. So that's good. Um, you got down here, you got a push to talk mode. I have that set to hold down the left control key. Uh, you can actually switch that off altogether if you want, or you can have it like a toggle press once uh, to put it on and off. Okay, so there are the general settings. Um, the guts of the program and how it works then is in the actual profile. So if we modify the profile, it'll open up this window here. And this is where you add your different uh, voice commands and stuff. Uh, you got three windows or three areas here. You got this section here, which is the trigger, the triggers over here, the action sequences, and down here, the trigger events. So for example, um, if you look at say the full speed, um, trigger. The trigger is basically what you say. So if you if I say the words full speed, it'll trigger whatever's down here in the trigger event. And what I have here is the is the full speed uh, action sequence, which is over here down here. So what you do is basically you create your you create your tr trigger, then you create an action sequence, and then you tie the action sequence to the trigger. So it's a bit a little bit complicated at first. Um, but I guess it adds a bit of flexibility in what you can do as well. 
So, for example, let's have a look at one of them here. Um, if you look at the full speed one and we edit the sequence, if you right click on it, you can edit a sequence. And you can see here that it does a key down action on the, uh, what's that? Oh, the zero key. Yeah, zero is full speed. And uh, it waits 100 milliseconds and then it does a key up. And then it will speak the words full speed. So that's basically like a quick, um, press down on the key and release it and then say full speed and so that's what that action sequence is so when you have your action sequence uh, you pretty much uh, where is it going full speed you can right click on it and add it to a trigger and so you would choose your trigger that is the full speed trigger here and once you do that it'll pop up down here in trigger events um, so let's add one here. I'll show you quickly how to do it. So say you want to create a new trigger for say firing a missile. Yeah, so we go new phrase. We're going to call this one fire missile. That's just the name of it. And then down here is actually what you will say. So you will say fire missile. And click OK. And then over here on the right we're going to create a new sequence. So I'm going to call the sequence name again fire missile. The names can be different, but just to, it makes it easier for matching them up if you're keeping the same or similar. Um, now, the action type you got a selection of action types here. You got key and mouse presses, you got timing for adding delays, um, the speak action for allowing the uh, windows to actually say the, the, um, the uh, words. And also you got a play sound action, which I think plays a sound file if you have um, audio files that you want to play, maybe of, of speech. And data action I don't think does anything. So uh, this program is pretty much an alpha. Um, so that feature I don't think works. Um, I'm not really sure. But um, in general, you know, most of what you need to do is here anyway. So, yeah, okay, so fire missile, we want to add the key press. So click add new action. Then you get the uh, different types of key presses you can do. Uh, key down, up, and key press. And then mouse, uh, key down, up, and press. That's like a mo uh, mouse click, I guess. Um, now, key press, I don't use. I tried that, um, but it doesn't seem to register. So I think it might be happening too fast or something. So what I do is... Uh, to get it working, I did key down, and then I, you would choose the um, the key that you want to press. So in this case, let's say it's M for missile. I'm not sure what it is, but we'll we'll do M and we click add, and then you would add uh, a timing delay. So 100 milliseconds should be okay. Um, a thousand milliseconds would be a second, so that's like one tenth of a second. Um, then you add another key press, which is actually the key up, and you choose the same key, which is M, and click add. So what that does is it basically presses down the M key, waits one tenth of a second, and then releases the M key. So it's kind of like a key press, but in three different stages. And it's, it's the only way I could get it working. Um, so but, you know, if you can't get it working either way, definitely do it this way and it should work. Uh, and then lastly, if you wanted to actually say something after that, you can either play a sound file or you can say speak action and then just say, uh, for example, missile fired. And when you do that then, once it presses the key, it'll actually say missile fired. So then save that. Um, now you want to add this sequence to the actual phrase that you're saying. So you right click on it, add the trigger, and choose the fire missile trigger, and click add. Now once you do that, if you look at it here, if you click on it here, you can actually look to see that you have it assigned here. So, you know, just it's kind of done in a three stage kind of process. Um, which is a bit confusing at first, but once you get the hang of it, um, it's not too bad and I think it adds flexibility so for example you could have um, you could have a sequence here for toggling the autopilot it could be maybe the exact same sorry here it is here and uh, it's a toggle button so you might use that same sequence for two different triggers so autopilot on autopilot off 
could use that same sequence, but then you could have different speak speak um, messages that you could also add with that. So let's have a look here. Uh, activate autopilot. Uh, the boat use the activate and deactivate. The boat use the same key sequence, but they have a different uh, speech sequence. So you can add multiple sequences here. Uh, one thing I would say when you're doing this is definitely um, when you're adding your sequences, make sure you close off um, your sequences. Like in this case, uh, it's pressing down the L menu is actually the Alt key. Some of the some of the commands as well. Um, if you go in here, uh, edit, and look at the keys, some of these names um, are a bit. They're not exactly what you would think they are. For example, back is backspace. L menu is actually the Alt key. And there's a few that aren't even named properly. Like I had to figure out, it has OEM open brackets here for the for the open bracket key. But then for, op for the close bracket key, it's actually OEM 6. So these things aren't 100% named uh, properly. As I said, it's an alpha, so it's a little bit rough and it's not really... Um, Z a few things like that you might run into uh, but in general you know most of it is there um, you just have to experiment sometimes with, with some of the things uh, yeah but what was the saying basically you have to make sure you close off your command so if I press a key down on uh, the F key uh, make sure you definitely do the key up command because otherwise you can get into a situation where the program is constantly holding down the F key or the Alt key and if you try to do anything on your computer in general uh, and this does. Uh, this is still running. You'll basically be doing everything with the Alt key pressed down, which means you could do all sorts of random stuff. So definitely make sure you get your sequences um, uh, closed off uh, cleanly. And that is pretty much it. Uh, once you're happy with your sequences and stuff, you can uh, go up here and click Save to save the profile. Then you just close this window here, and when you're ready to play the game. You just click on the listen, and then it will listen to your microphone. And that's pretty much it. So, um, yeah, I'd, I'd recommend checking it out. I'm going to put a, descript uh, a link to where you can get this in the description. Um, you know, a lot of people are using uh, Voice Attack, which looks... I had a quick look at it, uh, the demo, and it looks really good. It looks more full-featured than this. Uh, but as I said, if you want a, an open source free alternative, you can check this out first. And maybe if you like what it does, you could always uh, try it to get a version then if you wanted more features. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely a good little piece of software. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, do the usual. Likes, comments. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.